Imagine this, you drop your product photo into the workflow and in just a few seconds, the entire background transforms into a new scene, yet the subject remains 100% untouched. No distortion, no texture loss, no shifted proportions. Even the smallest details like printed text, tiny labels, textures, reflections and edges stay exactly the same, as if nothing ever happened. This is version 2 of change background and put any subject in any background rebuilt from the ground up to be far more powerful than version 1. Instead of relying on a stable diffusion 1.5 or flux which often struggle to preserve authenticity, this new generation is powered by Quan Image Edit Plus optimized with a specific LoRa. You choose the background or let the workflow generate one for you and the subject automatically blends into the new scene, matching lighting and colors with insane accuracy. It's not just background replacement, it's perfect preservation. Let's dive into that. Hey guys, in this video we have a new model, new workflow for changing background that I name it version 2 because previously we had changed background version 1 in my YouTube channel with the Savile Lufusion 1.5 but in this one we have Quan Image Edit, one of the most powerful models out there for editing images and in this workflow you will be amazed. I'm so excited to introduce it to you. Without further ado, let's check the workflow and tell you how you should work with it. Let me show you the Quan Image Edit simple workflow, the main workflow of Quan Image Edit Plus that already by using it, you can easily change the background of any image. For example, I have this car with a almost white background and in the prompt, this car on a display at an indoor auto show surrounded by spotlight and glossy reflection blah 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 and the result is this not bad so far but the problem is when you use the Quan Image Edit main workflow which is the simplest one the product image or I should say the subject image is changed a bit as you can see we have this car a bit shifted you know and it's not the exact image we had in the input image. This is input image and this is the result. There are a lot of shifts and sometimes in some cases the car is changed and some elements are not correct. Or if I show you another example, this is Quan Image Edit Simple Workflow and as you can see in this example it is more obvious. This bottle of perfume has been changed here. The height of the bottle as you can see and the box of it has been changed and in most of cases we don't want that and many of you had asked me over and over that how we can change the background of a product while preserving all tiny details. However, the details of our product are preserved even in the Quan Image Edit simple workflow but we want more precision and here is the magic happen. With this new workflow and some settings and a new LoRa, we can achieve this result. Look at this guys, there's no shift on our product and almost everything has been preserved 100% same as the input image. Also we have reflections on the car as you can see here and the lighting and perspective everything is perfect. I will show you how to use this workflow and also check this out. This is the other one. If you remember I showed you the result generated with Quan Image main workflow. The product has been changed but in the new workflow as you can see everything is perfect and precise and I will tell you a way that you can mix these two. This result and this result because somehow this result is a bit more cinematic and maybe more eye-catching for some of you maybe some of you prefer this one or some of you prefer this this completely depends on your work and your needs maybe someone needs an output between these two i will tell you everything in the Quan Image Edit workflow, as you can see, we have an input image and a prompt that describes what I want in a background and the model works very well. But there are some differences between this workflow and this one. The first one is 
removing background node. We have a remove background node here and this workflow works better with a product with a transparent background. So we add this. And this image goes to the new text encode cone image edit plus, the advanced one, as you can see here. And also we have a new LoRa here. In this example, we don't have the second LoRa. The first LoRa, as you know, is cone image lighting eight step LoRa, which allows us to use eight step instead of 25 step, which is the default number of steps for cone image edit. But by using this LoRa, we can use eight step and make our process very fast. And in this new workflow, change background version two, we have the lighting LoRa plus white to scene LoRa. All the instructions to download the models, the main Quan image model, the text encoder model, also the VAE and these two LoRa's are explained in these notes. These are main models of Quan image edit plus and the lighting LoRa and the main LoRa for changing background white to scene LoRa. This one should be downloaded from this link. And there is an explanation here that I explained to you what is this and what can this workflow and LoRa do. The trigger word is this one because this LoRa has been made by a Chinese guy and I will show you his page in the hugging face. This user DX8152 has made this LoRa. I should thank him for such amazing work and the trigger word he set on this LoRa is this and the meaning is this white background image to scene conversion and you need to put the trigger word here in this note and you must not change it leave it as it is here and for your prompt you can use Chinese prompt or English prompt it doesn't matter but somehow while you are using this LoRa the Chinese prompt should work better but I'm not 100% sure about that. You can experiment it yourself. In this example, I didn't use any Chinese prompt and I use an English prompt. But the trigger word should be Chinese. Keep this in your mind. Okay, after you download the LoRa and put it in this directory, you can use this workflow. It is very simple and straightforward. We can change the seed and test it again in this video. Let me change the seed. I set it in randomize and run the workflow again. This is Quan Image Edit simple workflow, which is the main workflow of Quan Image Edit. And as you can see, the result is good. The reflections are very good, but the product changes a bit in Quan Image Edit main workflow. Let me copy this seed and paste it here to use a same fixed seed to see the difference. Okay, I run the workflow. And this is the result. As you can see, there's no shift and no change in the product and the lighting is perfect. The shadows, the reflections are 100% perfect for this generation. But what if you want an output between these two results? The more cinematic vibe of this image and the precision of this image. Maybe you can guess it, but if not, I will tell you. In this note for the LoRa of white to scene, you can decrease the value of the LoRa to make it less effect on your final output. For example, I set it on 50 and with the same seat, I press run. And this is the new result. As you can see, the lights are a bit more cinematic and somehow warmer. And I think I like it more than the previous one. There is no change in the product as well. This is amazing. Fantastic, guys. Even the reflections are very accurate. Also, we can check this example too. You see output is amazing. And if I decrease the value of the LoRa to 50. Let's check how it works. And this is the result. As you can see, we have a little shift here, but not significant and everything 
is the same as our input image while we have the TV reflections on the window here and the light reflections on the hood of the car. Also the front glass of the car has the reflections too and everything is amazing guys. We have the cinematic vibe like this one but without the LoRa you see a lot of shifts had been occurred here. This workflow is very useful for some products that has tiny details or specific textures and you can experiment yourself. In the main video for our YouTube, I will show you more examples of the products that have tiny details or some specific textures. And this workflow is great for those who want more precision over cinematic or professional lighting. This is fantastic guys. And also we have another workflow. If you remember, we had put any subject, any background version one in my channel and you could put any subject in any background, but the precision wasn't so good. However, it was very useful and many of you have been using it for a long time, but this one, trust me, is more accurate and more reliable and I like it so much. Let's see what we have here. I started with Quanimage Edit Simple Workflow and the main workflow and for this one, I put some subject on a background manually with Photoshop and ask AI to place these products in the image and blend it together. As you can see in Photoshop, I have this vase and this teapot and they were like this and this and I removed their background and put them in this image on a desk in a kitchen. As you can see, there is no lighting, there is no shadows and everything about lighting and perspective are off. And we want the model, the new put any subject in the image workflow to blend these images together. We haven't had even a single workflow or model which can handle this task. Many of you have been asking me what workflow can handle this work precisely and beautifully and I didn't have anything with this level of quality and precision. And let's see how the model handles it. This is the Quan image simple workflow and not the new workflow because as you know the coin image edit very powerful model to edit images and it can handle lighting and and works like this let me show you the translation of this sentence my prompt is blend the image correct the products perspective and lighting and integrate the product into the background pour in hot tea okay this is the result this is the result we get from coin image edit main workflow not bad, but as you can see, there are some artifacts and changes in the products. Also, the quality of the image is a bit low. And as you can see in the background, we have some pixelated issues. And let's test it with new workflow. Put any subject version 2 and look at the result, guys. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Look at the precision, guys. If you notice, the vase is 100% unchanged and a little lighting has been added to it because the lighting of the environment is a bit different from the vase and this work should be done by the workflow it could handle it perfectly and i really like the result about the vase and about the teapot as you can see the perspective of the teapot is a bit off you can see the angle of teapot or the let off teapot is a bit off and the model could change it and it's not the downside of the model if you see some changes here at the top of the teapot these changes has been occurred because the perspective of the teapot is not 100 percent accurate compared to the desk and the perspective of the camera you know this is magic guys and the quality is absolutely amazing there's no pixelation here and as you can see the reflections are so good and the edges of the product as you can see in the input image there are so many pixelated edges here and everything has been fixed and i really like the result guys it's perfect it's 100 percent accurate in my opinion and let's see another example this is another example I add this car in this background, as you can see in the Photoshop, I put this car in this background and you see there are separated layers 
this is the main image of the car and this is the background i put it here and masked it as you can see the perspective is a bit off and also the lighting and let's see how this new model can handle this look at the precision guys look at the quality as you can see back of the car has been fixed its perspective wasn't matched the background and as you can see there's a little shift of its back and the front of the car is amazing guys everything is perfect the reflections the shadows underneath the car the lightings the orange lights here and everything is perfect and if you want to see the output of the Quan image edit main workflow without the LoRa, you see this is the result. We have quality loss, some changes to the car that I think is not perfect. The result is not bad, but, but we want more accurate results. When it comes to lighting products and match it with our specific background, this is a very hard work for AI to do. This is so hard. But with the help of this LoRa, as you can see, the result is so much accurate and eye-catching. I forgot about the second LoRa. This LoRa is different from the change background LoRa. As you can see, the LoRa name is white to scene in this example, in the change background workflow. But in this workflow, we have Fusion LoRa. You can download it from this link. As you can see here, the same guy and the Fusion LoRa. You should download this model and you can rename it to find it easier. I've changed its name and I named it Fusion LoRa. And as the previous one, you can play with the value of the LoRa. And the main difference between this workflow, put any subject and change background, as you know, is that in this workflow change background, you will create the background through a prompt, okay? We don't have any background here, we just, give it an input image with a white background. I forgot about this important note. You should use a white background for your product or as simple as this image. So don't forget to use a product with a white background or a simple background. The main difference between this workflow and this one is that in the change background workflow, you don't have any background and it will create the background for you through a prompt. But in this workflow, we have the background and we have our product images, but we put the background and the products using Photoshop or any software you want. You can add more products, as many as you want, one, two, three, or four. It can handle it perfectly. We put our products in the background and save it it will blend these two images together perfectly because many of you has been asking me that we have our specific background and we don't want that ai generate the background for us through a prompt we want to use our specific background and this workflow is for you and for those who want to create background through a prompt and they don't have any pre-made background or pre-generated background, they can use this workflow. Both are really powerful and useful. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can download the workflows in the WAP or Boosty. Thank you. I see you in the next videos.